I've seen them as high as 500 in my practice. LDL uh, is high. LDLC of 500. Um, but and, we're not before. Just but to, not before. But just not before. to understand this for the listener or the viewer, a lean mass hyperresponder is someone who changes their diet, goes to a lower carbohydrate diet, and is it a higher fat diet or just low carb? It's low carb, but generally it's higher fat. High fat. Mm-hmm. And instead of um, improvements, technically, they shoot their their cholesterol changes drastically. Correct. Their lipids look like they have familial hyperlipidemia. And you know, their other parts of their traditional lipid panel, their triglycerides are low, their HDL high. And you know, they will often say, like, well, I'm, you know, metabolically healthy, so this LDL cholesterol doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe not. And this is what they're trying to look at in this observational trial. Um, um, I applaud them for at least looking at the arteries because in the past it used to be that, like, well, I don't have diabetes and resistance, so I'm pretty protected from vascular disease. And it's like, I believe, yes, that, you know, there are other things that drive plaque in arteries other than just LDL cholesterol, but that is one variable that is, like, blinking red. Like, the check engine light's on. you got to go looking. Like, is it causing damage to the arteries? Because I used to get a lot of patients who would have this kind of phenotype they go get just a calcium score and I say, my calcium score is zero, so I don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about it right now, it may be in a year, but if you left your labs like this for the next 10 years, unknown, you're likely to have more plaque in your arteries. You know, it's based off of Mendelian randomization trials in the past that say that if your LDL cholesterol is here, you're more likely to have plaque. 